the World Heavyweight Championship. Here he is. Behold the Punisher. Damian Priest is dead set on growing his legacy, on bringing more and more glory to his name. And he's done just that, Cole. A modern-day bad guy picking fights and winning gold. But it's never enough for the power-hungry Damian Priest. A look of pure disdain in the face of Damian Priest. Well, it's because he has passed judgment on the entire WWE Universe and has found them all unworthy. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. Let's go! Let's go! The champ comes into his title defense incredibly competent, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. Priest embodies no mercy, no remorse. He's a sadistic individual. So you need tenacity just to survive the man. Introducing the challenger from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Senor Money in the Bank, Damien Priest. And his opponent from England, weighing in at 270 pounds. It's big, it's gold, and every superstar wants it. The World Heavyweight Championship. Look at that illustrious, beautiful title. Here we go, guys. This contest is for the World Heavyweight Championship. In very short order, this is becoming a highly coveted title here in WWE. Every guy wants to get their hands on it and take their turn as heavyweight champ. It's about proving you're one of the best in this business today. One of these men is about to do just that. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Oh, man! A massive springboard right on the money. Vicious knee. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Oof. He's back into the ring. Able to reverse that one. Incoming. Cross landing. Powerbomb. 
The power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. So much of Hell in a Cell comes down to mental toughness, but what about an actual game plan? Corey, what's the best way to make it out of here with the win? Accept the reality of your surroundings. When that door closes, you leave the human part of yourself behind and give in to your worst impulses. So do what you have to to win and save the guilt for your therapist. Uh, in the hard way. Trying to put the champ out of sort, maybe even discombobulate them. Priest looks a little less intimidated after taking some punishment there. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. This is not good. Wild guess. I don't think anyone involved expected that to happen. Well, if we know anything about Hell in a Cell, we know that things are only going to get much worse from here on out. Oh, no. What is he thinking? Ascending this brutal structure. And he's finally hit the peak. And guys, if history is any indication, here's where things get really interesting. That's certainly one way to put it. He's reached the peak! What is he thinking? Every fall on top of the cell is like putting your flesh through a meat grinder. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, nasty stop to finish it off. This entire arena is on the edge of their seats watching these two clash on top of the cell. Just muscling up their opponent. What a gut wrench powerbomb. Everyone in this building is just waiting on bated breath. We've all seen life-altering moments come from the top of that cell. The champion with plans of driving their opponent through the earth. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Jackhammer! A championship level move. Hopefully the chain leak can stand up to this mayhem. 
This isn't what it was made for. No one is supposed to be up there. He'll lose. to this. This is a title match. Any risk is worth the cost. Staves off the attack. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own well being. Gave you the first hit, Byron. He made it to the top. Oh, just stop moving. Wisely, he is coming back down this monstrous structure. Into the ring again. Out of the ring and into hell itself. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Whoa, that was a stiff chair back to the dome. Race lock go behind. German suplex. We're not finished yet. Another one. Oh, come on. Enough is enough. They're continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Golly, what destruction. Nothing says, here's my vicious side, like throwing a chest can at your fallen opponent. Short clothesline line hits its mark. defense challengers might think twice before coming at him now